Where do you live? I live in Lowell, Massachusetts. So Lowell. Why don't you live for something like a... Why do they always say that? Huh? I want him. You know, I was started before. I spoke to the convention last year as a U.S. Senate candidate running against Elizabeth Warren. And you'll see that when you go to the website. You ran against Elizabeth Warren? Yeah, I didn't win the nomination, but I spoke at the convention, standing ovation, which is on the website when you go to it. I will, I will go. But you know, they're not going to talk about me because I didn't spend a lot of money. But they know about me. And then he knows about there too. And it ain't about me. You need a lot. No, you don't. You, you, don't, you can adjust the money to you. It ain't like there's money all around you, but why don't you move to New York? Money will just run from against um, two senators. Uh, I want. I, I'm, I want to. I'm, I'm from Dover, Delaware. I live in Massachusetts. I've watched races in New Hampshire. My, my, my father's from Georgia. My mother's from the Panhandle of Florida, Panama City, where my grandfather was like the first African-American barber on uh, Tinder Air Force Base, right? So my, my father came back to Vietnam. My parents met on Tinder Air Force Base, which was just destroyed by Hurricane Michael in Panama City. I, I lived in Ohio. California, my grandfather lives there. And Where were you born? We were born in Dover, 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 Dover. And uh, my father was in the military. And people, and people always tell oh, why don't you want to sit down for Why don't you want to Well, no, people are stuck there. You know, it's funny, you're just gone. I do the airport stuff. And I took uh, uh, Christy St. Lawrence, the Democrat. She ran against a senator who I supported. And they had her family in my car today going to the airport. Lincoln, Lincoln ran seven, eight times, and he lost that U.S. Senate race two years, and he ended up, where did he end up? In uh, 1859, he ended up in New Hampshire, right? He didn't know he was going to be here. He was. He stopped in Cooper Union, gave a two-hour speech. He was coming to Exeter to see his son, who was at Exeter. Uh, I'm in the politics. Uh, I, I usually write and stuff like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But, well, well, it's not, uh, no, I write for myself. I have my own social media. You don't need the sun anymore. They're almost gone. Yeah. It's sad that they're almost gone because I, I actually love that paper. Like, but they, they're another one. They don't grow. They don't diversify their people around them. And that, But that's not the only reason. They allow Congress, the 90s Congress, with Ed Markey, Clinton, Biden, they changed the law that had been in for decades where they let one corporation own a newspaper, television station, but that had been against the law. It's called the 1996 Communications Act. And so since then, these corporations like, is it digital, uh, digital first media, they own like, what is it, 100 newspapers across the country, they own the, the Denver newspaper, they own the Lowell Sun, and their uh, uh, equity, their uh, equity fund. And they don't care. They, what they do is they cut all the staffs and suck them dry of money. And you know, you know much more about politics than I do. Well, I really get really involved in politics. Uh, I mean, Jesus, you can't get behind somebody. Even that, who's the guy that just ran for Senate here in New Hampshire? Who ran for Congress? The black guy? Yeah, this is it. Is it Edward? Edward. Yes, thank you. If he, he's going to get in next, if he does run, he'll get in next. What, what is he running for, though? He's running for Congress? Congress. That's too small. That's how the country, that's too, the country needs leadership. And the country, and everybody. But everybody got to start somewhere. You're no, taking a big giant it's step. It's awesome. You know it's America. Really yes, I do. Of course I do. Because I can, I can compete. I can compete with people that the president can relate to. I, I have a chance. I, I'm for ending the Cuban embargo. I'm for rail, rail from Lowell to Nashville. I've been for that for 20 years. Criminal justice reform. When I was 19, I got a charge for two days in Indiana from a, a law that Joe Biden passed and Bill Clinton passed. And, and, and I got three years, of, three years of spending sentence. I'm a, just a little, I'm a kid with some marijuana. And that, that affected my life. And I moved to Ohio, and they took my license. I actually just got my license back 20-something years later. And so, there's, you know how many millions and millions of people that law 
has affected and still affects you today. I know people need somebody they can relate to, who can talk about their experience. And uh, the president can't talk about that. I know 25 women can't talk about that. I'm the hip-hop Republican. We got, we got a big president. You know, he, he can't grow. You got to know. He, he can, I, I see Repo I follow every Republican party in the country. And, and, they're, and they're bleeding young people, they're bleeding people of color, and he, he, care, he just care less. Only thing he wants to do is get to the general. And, and, and I, that's why I want to see him, because I, I deserve to be represented as a Republican, the hip-hop community. I, I think it makes a great I'd make a great sense of it. That's where you got to stop. I, I, Go no, for us. No, you need, to, you need to take the bully out. Goliath. We need a David and Goliath battle. The whole world is like, what is, the whole world wants to see him challenged. And they don't want to wait. Oh, they don't. They, they want, well, my and, world. And you can't blame this Democrat. Is Republicans want to see him challenged too. Oh, yeah. The Republicans in this state. He's you underwater know, here. He's turning everything upside down. No, but he, he, he's in the apocalypse. No, he, ha he has a foreign policy problem. And that problem is John Bolton. He's a problem. Mm, I get mixed feelings on both the truth. But oh, I, uh, hey. So, you know, I, so I, I know still, that's not a congressman opinion. That's a pres presidential candidate opinion. And you look at the 25 Democrats, you ever hear them talk about both? They don't know anything about that. Because you know why? They are They have these uh, people do who they hire. That's not me. I've, I've been studying these issues for 20 years. I like to really hear Look, they're all... I hate to see you just waste them. It ain't wasting. Oh, come on, you got to 